Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your VEX joystick controller for a tank mode control on your robot. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you need to do is go to Pros, create new Pros project and name it whatever you want. I named mine joystick sample code. Then find your way to the source folder uh, in your program and double click on Op Control. This is where we're going to program our remote control. You should have a program that looks similar to this, maybe with a bunch of comments that go ahead and delete those for right now. You don't need them for right now. If you haven't read those, make sure you do. Uh, the next thing you want to do is set up your motor port. So in Robot C, we set up the motors and sensors in one area. Here you'll set all your motor ports and your sensor ports. And what I like to do is use constant variables here and just set them equal to the port number. It saves on memory to do it this way. Now I'm going to create a couple of variables to hold the values of my remote control that I'm getting. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to declare and initialize motor power variables to zero. So I initialize my right motor power equal to zero and I initialize my left motor power equal to zero. These two variables will hold my um, values again for my remote control. Now what you need to do is go down to operation control inside the while loop, just push enter a few times, uh, space it out, give yourself some room, and then start typing right motor, what we named our variable. It should automatically pop up there, push enter, and set that equal to joystick. So start typing in joystick. This will bring up a function call uh, that allows you to get the values that you are from the joystick analog sticks. So this area right here, you plug in which joystick you're using. I don't have a partner joystick, so I'm just going to put one there. If it was the partner, I would put two. The next thing I'm going to do is set the axes. The axes is on the analog joysticks. You'll see one and two on the right hand side and three and four on the left hand side. Two controls the upward and downward motion of the right analog stick. Uh, four controls the, or three controls the upward and downward motion of the analog stick on the left hand side. So I'm gonna set my right motor power to uh, two, my analog stick two. And then I'm going to set my left motor power equal to 3. Now I need to plug these variables into my motor. So I'm going to use motor set and then which channel did I plug my motor into? Well that I have right up here. So motor right motor and then my speed is my right motor power that I set equal to my analog stick. Put a semicolon and do this again. Just control C, copy, paste and then set it from left or right motor to left motor and again right motor power to left motor power and that's it for that program when you build your program all you have to do is press F9 and then click on save and build if you haven't already saved then go ahead and upload that to your robot that's just hold down control Make sure your robot's cortex is plugged in with your A to A cable. Hold down control and press F9. And I've already done this, but let me pause the video and show you how to do this real quick. Okay, I've plugged in my cortex. Now I'm ready to go. All I have to do is press control and F9 to upload this program to my VEX cortex. And that is it. So now I need to plug in, pair my VexNet keys, plug them in, and turn on my robot and my uh, remote control. Another thing I forgot to tell you guys, you may want to reverse your left motor uh, so that both wheels are turning forward. And in order to reverse your left motor, all you have to do is put a little negative sign in front of left motor or a negative sign in front of right motor, one of them to reverse the motor direction. And that's it. Uh, let me pause the video and show this show you how this runs. Okay, here we go. So it's running If I push forward 
and backwards on my analog joystick here and then on my other one they are both rolling together well kind of opposite directions because I didn't put that negative in but you can do that you can see them turn the same direction it's pretty easy go ahead and get started